This is without a doubt the best diagnostics tool for beginners or just home mechanics. Snap on motors. You can get newer than this. They're a lot more expensive. I paid a hundred pounds for this. Off eBay, with no accessories or anything, but still bargain. The screens ain't very bright on this on this model, but don't really affect it too badly. You got EOBD. So basically EOBD, which will do every car, but it's just engine diagnostics. You can do an OBD2 health check. Same again, it will just check the powertrain module. Then you've got, I've basically got all European cars. On this model there, when you click on them, So basically this one's doing up to 2011. When you click on them it will you'll need a key to get into that manufacturer's let's say you go to anti-lock brakes. You need the DL16 adapter with an S44 key. So you have to get all the keys for this one, but I'll just buy them as I need them. At the minute I've only got a Honda, so I'll just use it for that. So basically got a good near dealer level diagnostics tool. Can't get out of it now for some reason. There you go, I'm back. Takes a bit of navigating, learning the navigation of them. But then built into it as well, you can do component tests. This is brilliant with the kit. So basically you can go into engine components. You got all of them. Accelerator position sensor, crankshaft position sensor. So let's say we select that one. It gives you component information, so you can click on the information. It tells you where it's located, how it works, the connector, and what wiring at the connector and how to test your instrument, how to connect your instrument to that connector, so that's invaluable information on that. And it does that for a lot of different manufacturers, so let's come out of that. New vehicle ID, Europe, I've only got Europe on it, so there you go, a lot of them. The only one I can really see missing is Fiat, maybe Land Rover, but it doesn't really matter, you can just go on to a generic, it gives you the option for a generic as well. Yeah, like all others generic. So that is a massive reason for owning this, the component information. Then you've got a graphing meter, which does all that. And it gives you like four channels, it's just loading there. So there you go, there's your graphing meter, it's hard to see on this I know, but... I really just use the component testing machine. And you've got a digital meter as well, which is handy. That was a bit easier to see. And then you got that then you got basically your oscilloscope, which is exactly the same thing really, but it's the four channel lab scope. But I'll just basically use the component tester when I need to use the scope. You just choose which one you want, go on to it, go to test. And then it will set the meet the scope up for you for the perfect settings to test that meter. It gives you the pin out and the location. So brilliant tool. Basically got EOBD, you've got 
manufacturer of software, you've got a component tester, four, four lab scope, four channel scope. Unbelievable bit kit.